going to talk about the birth of this little first one. February 13, 2021. So if you've seen our last video, yes. before you start this, please see it first because it's kind of like the continuation. So that was the eve of our birth. Of Kilian's birth. So, I used to. Okay, I used to. So the day started at 5 or 5.30 in the morning when this girl started to feel some contraction into her stomach into her into her stomach but me i was still sleeping and then yeah we i finally thought it woke was up. just normal break so next but like usual yeah usual and, and then, then by 7 30 we went down 7 a.m i woke you up because i i felt that that's the day yeah i know i felt my water broke <laughs> so i <laughs> went down to the toilet and it's confirmed now there's water and but not like a gush <laughs> like, like my underwear was wet lang. and then when I peed there was blood so I really knew and doctor then, does doctor does if there is blood do not hesitate wait, just go straight to the, wait, go to the hospital so I really knew back then that I'm in labor now because even with Gracie that's when it started so we, we didn't breakfast. pack up. Uh, we didn't panic, pa, no? We we, we, ready, have, we, we are we are we were ready. We thank bags. God that we had prepared, you know, the a night the night before that. And then we had breakfast, pa, and then I I I wanted to go talaga to the hospital now when I'm like nearly there. So yeah, with Gracie, said. seven hours before, so <laughs> I was thinking if we leave, I started at seven or five. And I think that if we leave at ten. By 2 or 3 p.m., kaya yung mga anak na, na, na ako. So, by 10, we decided to go to the hospital. So, in the car, okay, today is Saturday, February 13, 2021. It's 9.48 in the morning. We are on our way to St. Luke's BGC. Um, I'm on labor. Yeah. Um, I think my water broke early this morning, although I just noticed it around 7 in the morning. Then there's blood also. Then I have, I have been, I've, uh, I've been having, I have been having construction, contractions. For you made constructions? What contractions. apart since 7 a.m. and we decided to go to St. Louis na I mean kasi may blood na ma medyo madami na I've changed already to my the second diaper there so you see if we have so many things at the back I even brought my birthing ball because the part is just in case there's none available in St. Louis. Okay. Daddy, how do you feel? I feel like it's not the appropriate time to take a video. You know, it's fine. I just want to document this. I forget because I'm late. Bye. I was doing it up. I was driving hypno, carefully. Oh, hypno birthing, ganyan, ganyan. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm sucking my tongue. <laughs> I'm sucking my tongue. <laughs> yeah, I was driving I was carefully. Was we arrived there at 11.30. 11. Oh, 11, 11.30. Oh, yeah. And then fast forward, 2 p.m., 3 c.m. pa lang. <laughs> yeah, by between that time, we had to do the admission. Then after when I met her again, 1.30 or 2. That's the time that they said, how many c.m.? 5? 3. 3 pa lang. Tapos, may, may, may doctor 
Dave, you need to stimulate me ni Pastor. Sabi ni Doktor. Kasi I need to start laboring very very soon. I mean, contractions ni Pastor. And I don't want that. Meron na, pero they, they're not happy about it. Happy about it. And it, ano it they want it more. By 4 p.m. I was 4 c.m. Oh, no, it didn't work. I was doing it right. <laughs> so, yeah, we will show you some snippets. We're not gonna show a lot of details because I don't want you guys to be in trauma. But... You look like a baby. So I really wanted this birth to be unmedicated, just natural birth, yeah. So I really, really push for all natural birth until comes 9 p.m. 8 c.m. Palang ako, and that's when my doctor, my my OB arrived, and everybody's just. I felt like everybody's was pressuring me to give birth na and. In my head, I was like, if maybe I, I, I'll lose all my strength and energy now by the time that, you know, I'll, I'll push. So, I cried. <laughs> and I asked Matt, I was like, Sorry. Yeah, I was like, it's okay, okay, can I get the, I know, the, the, the epidural? So, I was I'm crying because, so yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm baby. so big. But I was really, really exhausted that I imagine from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then, siguro the, the epidural worked for like 2 hours till 11. By the time that I started pushing, 11, wala na. Wala na yung effect yung anesthesia. Yeah, I was still waiting for you yeah. in the labor room. And then he just went inside to when follow. Yeah, when my, my when Dr. Rabai went inside the room and it took eleven minutes. fourteen in the evening. You came out. So there oh my God, he pushed. nineteen hours of labor. We you pushed versus this girl that only seven hours. I was like I want to come out next. <laughs> Yes. What can we share about that day? He's, he was really... A good uh, Yeah, he was he, he's really good in assisting me. He, I, I refer to him as my birth doula. We've watched oh, so guys, much. If you guys want... <laughs> if you guys want... Uh, oh, yeah. So this was the birth when... Yeah. I cut the cold. Yeah. And Daddy here Ooh. shared that the crazy. Oh, I remember Panak, we called you and I have like all these things attached to me and I remember that very blurry lang. I was sad. I was like, why is my mommy so bad to a machine? It was scary. And I was like, I asked Matt actually to call Gracie and I was just like, I just wanted to see your face because I was really, really exhausted now. Yeah. I was from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. We were... <laughs> we were doing nipple simulation, birthing ball, <laughs> and I was just doing all the um, 
what's that breathing exercise that I learned from from YouTube and stuff? Our nice day also is that sometimes you yeah. me when they put the draw the yods on you, then I could see the, the contractions. Course, yeah. yeah, I could see the contraction coming up yeah, and up and up. Uh -oh. From 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, so yeah. I was able to tell her, don't look at the numbers, mm -hmm. and then just control yourself, Maga. Yeah, it was really, really nice. What else? And then the love was the moment he came. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. It's so purple. And then my face yeah. turned purple too. Alien looking thing. Yeah. And what else can we talk about? Okay, so after birth, we stayed in the hospital for three days two nights and it, it was february 14 the next day Saint Valentine's. Yes. Saint Valentine's day. Yeah, we we were actually very worried that he's going to be born <laughs> me i was worried because i don't want to name him valentine or something something could have named him jayden could have named him big yes whatever um but we named him Kilian. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I did when I saw you is I counted your fingers. <laughs> then I check if you are complete. If you don't have a birthmark or if you have one. And then after I look at your eyes and I said, Oh, is it blue? Is it blue the eyes? Ooh, we... And then okay, so what else? I slept with him the first night, remember? Then you get scared. He slept on my chest. We slept together like this. Now he's so big. I don't even know how did I push this boy out. Okay, okay, okay. You want to see us? You want to see So there. So there. That's our bird story. That's my mukbang for today. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. For those who have not subscribed yet, uh, subscribed yet and watching this, you're already here. Might as well click that button. Yeah, press a like, then subscribe. Yes, then and you will receive notification when you update a new video. And as you Don't can see, out. we are all wearing yellow and white today. 